Welcome to my organizational behavior playlist. Today I will be discussing about need of group formation. So let's see need of group formation. Sometimes it is considered as influence of the group. Group formation becomes essential for the following reasons. First companionship. Next identity. Next information. Next, security. Next, esteem. Next, sense of belongingness. Next, outlet for frustrations. Next, perpetuation of cultural values. Next, generation of new ideas. Next, self evaluation. Next, job satisfaction. And at last, power. So, group formation becomes essential for this reasons. Now let's see one by one briefly. Let's start from the first one companionship. The need for relationship with other people is one of the strongest and most constant of human drives because of everybody need the relationship with the other people. Relationships give work life more pleasant and comfortable to an individual who earlier felt lonely and miserable. So everybody can understand this relationship gives work life more pleasant and comfortable. Many research studies have indicated that the employees who have no opportunity for social contacts find their work unsatisfying. This lack of satisfaction often reflects itself in low productivity and high rate of absenteeism and turnover also. So from this you can understand the importance of the companionship and that is actually the part of the need of group formation. Now the next one identity. We try to understand ourselves through the behavior of others towards us. So always we are looking to understand ourselves through the behavior of others towards us. If others praise us, we feel we are great. Groups provide many others who will praise or admire us. So you know very well if others praise us, we feel we are great. And the same thing provided by the groups. Workers get more identification in small groups and so small groups tend to enjoy high moral as compared to large groups. Next one information. The informal group to which a member belongs is a source of communication or information to him. So from this you can understand the informal group to which a member belongs is a source of communication or the information. So in short you can say for the information the group is required. A piece of information available to one member will nearly reach all the members in a short span of time with the help of the group. An individual comes to know about what is happening in an organization even if he has been on leave or is otherwise away that means outside of the company. So individual comes to know about what is happening inside the organization even if he has been on leave or he is out of the company. Next one security. Perhaps the strongest reason for group formation is a people's need for the security. By joining a group a person can reduce his insecurity. He feels stronger, has lesser self-doubts and is more resistance to the threats. The group protects 
its members from the arbitrary policies and orders of the formal organizations. So this is also one of the strongest reason for the group formation. The group protects its members from the arbitrary policies and orders from the superior or the supervisors. Group provides a psychological buffer between the individual and the organization. This can be realized by the concept of unions. So, from this example, you can understand this concept. Next, esteem. Membership in a prestigious group is a source of enhanced self-esteem. The members will feel good about themselves by virtue of the group's power, prestige and social standing. So if you are the member of the prestigious group, then it will be the source of enhanced self-esteem. Next one, sense of belongingness. It is an emotional need for friendship, love, affection and affiliation. Most people have strong need for being with others who can understand, support and help them when they are in need. So this is really a very important sentence to understand the sense of belongingness. Most people have strong need for being with others who can understand, support and help them when they are in need. The concept of family and friends fulfill this need. When people are new to an, any organization, they are eager to find friends with which they can check their perceptions of new and uncertain environment. Next one, outlet for frustrations. An individual may be faced with several problems relating to his family life and work life. At times, he feels tremendous stress in life and gets frustrated also. If he shares his feelings and anxieties with someone, his tension is released to a great extent. The social relations provide an important outlet for frustrations. So at that time, the social relationship is required to release this frustration. Informal groups serve as safety valves and help to release this type of frustrations, thus avoiding any mental or physical breakdown of the individual. So it prevents any mental or physical breakdown of individual. Next one, perpetuation of cultural values. Common cultural background brings people together and is a strong cementing force. So once again, this is a very important point. Common cultural background brings people together and is a strong cementing force. That means one type of the great feelings with each other. People sharing a common culture are able to maintain their cultural identity and even propagate their culture. A group with a particular cultural value often takes up activities which help perpetuate those values. This even gives psychological satisfaction to the members. Next, generation of new ideas. Informal groups are a breeding ground for new ideas. They provide a supportive environment in which the members can engage themselves in creative thinking. Quality circles in Japan are an important example in this regard. So quality circles 
in Japan is the best example for the generation of new ideas. Under quality circles, workers meet periodically and discuss problems relating to quality and come out with new ideas to solve the problems. Next one, self-evaluation. Groups help the members in evaluating themselves as against others. An individual can judge himself against other members of the group. So it is one type of the checking of your performance in the group. This will help him in having a realistic self-assessment and encourage him to acquire the plus point of others or inculcate a competitive spirit. Next one, job satisfaction. Many jobs which appear superficially dull and routine are made interesting by the group. Certain jobs can be done by the isolated workers, but working as a group often results in higher motivation to the workers. And this is actually a common phenomenon that also you have observed that the many jobs which appear superficially dull and routine are actually non-interesting. So certain jobs like this, working as a group often results in higher motivation to the workers. Next, last one, power. As you know, united we stand, divided we fall. And unity is strength. So these are the two proverbs that indicate the importance of power. So according to that, workers enjoy much greater power collectively than they do as individuals. So to acquire the power, there is a need of group formation. If you have any question, then write in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.